welcome back to Mobility Watch. Hey, that's right, it's a family act. Our whole family is obsessed with your performance. Just got back after a long airplane ride from Toronto, and it led me to think about uh, sitting on an airplane. I weigh about 100 kilos, it's hot, 100 degrees, at least in my chair, and uh, if you put lots and lots of tissues under tension, pressure, and then heat them up, you either get coal or gas, right, or you get a laminate. And what I was thinking about again was, gosh, I've just dedicated myself to creating a butt laminate or glute lamination. So here's what we're going to do today. Normally when we go after a, um, a trigger point ball, um, let me grab one of these guys again. We've got a couple options here to unlaminate. And one of the things you'll see on the mobility wall a lot is that we really, you know, we're equal opportunists. We, we like what's whatever around. Some of the friends from Trigger Point were in town for the URSA show, which is the International Health and Racket Club Association show. They dropped by some of their favorite balls. This is a great ball, tptherapy.com. Um, it has a little bit softer feel. You know, the problem with the lacrosse ball, even though it's utilitarian, it's a buck, is that sometimes it's a little bit too hard. And that's what we always advocate for having lots and lots of different balls. In fact, if you, you know, you flip it over to our accoutrement basket, you know, there's lots of ways to torture yourself in there. And we're, you know, we think that you should ultimately collect your own, uh, you know, I don't know, militia of uh, therapy balls. But the idea here today is that I want you guys to just do a couple simple things. And we're just gonna spend 10 minutes ungluing your butt. A couple ways to work about the sliding surface thing. You can think of trigger points as either a knotted area up in the muscle. And what you're gonna try to do is undo that little knotted area, right? That's one way to go. Janet Travell, a uh, great uh, physician, wrote a lot of books about kind of trigger points and the referral pain. That's something you can do. Take a look at. And the, the idea is that if I, hey Gina, if the idea is that if I try to mobilize one of those little tissues, then I can open up that knot and release that tension through that. The other idea is that I need to go ahead and try to pancake those fibers apart and smear them apart. If I have a laminated tissue like a like a sandwich. You know, putting a spike in the middle of that sandwich of cheese and wet clay, nothing's going to happen. What I need to do is smear that thing apart. And that's one of the things I can do with the ball. And so if I was going to do the first Janet Travell thing, I could even find a trigger spot, lock my butt, contract, relax, five seconds, release, and sink into the muscle. So try that first. Contract, squeeze your butt, block off, come down into a little bit more. Hey, go a little bit further. The contract, relax model works there. Get tight. Release, drop in, or I can just go ahead and sandwich back and forth, which is another model, just to think about pancaking those fibers laterally, trying to kind of create some lateral shear. The last model is that we're going to do an active tacking stretch. And so what's going to happen is we're going to tack the tissue down, and then we're going to try to pull some tissue past it. So I tack with something that feels tight, and then I'm going to try to actively pull tissue past. Any one of those things is going to work well. What you need to do though is if you most of the time we do it sitting up, what we don't do a lot of is kind of going after the glutes and then looking at the kind of piriformis tissues, other tissues that come into the sacrum, which almost has to be done on your back. So what I want you guys to do today is really unglue this high glute, capture into the, some of the other smaller glute regions here, and then roll around right into this kind of flexor one. So it doesn't matter where you go, but I definitely want you to spend some time on your back today rolling around and through. And the only mission on this Sunday is that uh, you've got to just spend 10 or 15 minutes really ungluing your hip region. High up top, right along the kind of ischial crest here, um, and then working your way down. So, uh, not ischial, ilium. Um, anyway, you get the idea. Try to unglue yourself, pancake those fibers. You find a tight spot, pull past it, but let's work kind of supine and let's see if we can't get you unglued. All three of those are techniques, good ways to work on the ball. Collect as many different balls and rollers as you can. Amaze your friends. Wow, your enemies. We'll see you guys tomorrow.